Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, AKA is that your hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider tapping that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today we're back with some more Amazon headband wigs. Y'all have been showing me an insane amount of love for the past two months on these wigs. So I'm like, you know what? May as well bring around a few more for the holiday season. I have done four different videos on Amazon headband wigs thus far. This is video number five. If you need to catch up, I highly suggest you check out my description box because I will have them all, part one through four, linked down below, as well as my headband wig playlist, which features a slew of headband wigs, all different prices points all different styles so I highly recommend you check that out and as y'all know today is $20 Tuesday $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable units for the lovely $20 price range and below but today is special because today is our 50th episode of $20 Tuesday Woohoo! I'm so excited Static about that. Thank you all so, so much for all of your support on the $20 Tuesday series, for showering me with your wonderful positive comments. If you have bought something because of $20 Tuesday, please shout yourself out in the comments down below. Let me know how this series has helped you. It really, really makes my day reading your comments. So thank you so, so much for making it to 50 episodes. I cannot freaking believe that. <laughs> On top of that, we are on our way to 20,000 subscribers, which is going to be a really big celebration. I cannot wait to share that moment with all of you. So once again, if you're new, you may as well join the family. Subscribe. All right, let's get into these Amazon wigs I have today. I have five wigs to show you all, starting with this cutie right here, okay? If you are new to Amazon headband wigs, they are wigs that come with a headband attached. And in past videos, I've shown how you can like switch out your headband to cover the ones that it comes with. However, people have been requesting black headbands, so I try to get a few more of those. As you can see, this one right here comes with a nice black headband. And so far, y'all, I, I like this one, especially for the price point. This unit costs $24.99. $24.99 for these curls that already come pre-made for you, these factory curls. Yes, when I touch it, it feels synthetic-y, but I feel like the look, I feel like this is giving a look. This is giving me a holiday vibe, and trust me, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna know that this costs $24.99. Who's gonna check you? This is so freaking cute! You know how long it takes to do curls like this? How long does this take? An hour, an hour and a half? I used to have the patience to do curls like this on my hair. I do not have the patience anymore. And that's why I love these headband wigs, especially the synthetic ones. They come pre-styled for you. You are literally cutting your time in half. I just wanna know who's adding this one to the cart because she is too cute to pass up. I'm feeling this one. I saw this one on the website. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out looking crazy in person, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the fit. I'm happy with the curls. You got some bunching up over here. It feels like they try to add filler hairs right there. I don't know what that's about. But literally, I don't care about none of that. This joint was $24 and it comes with a headband. So life is easy with a wig like this. And for my beginners, I want y'all to join in on this trend too because wearing a wig doesn't have to be hard. That's why I like these headband wigs. It makes wig wearing so easy. But I am curious about this in an updo. So I'm gonna try one of my headband sleeves from Amazon to see how it looks. 
Okay, so here is a pattern sleeve that I have. Let's see. My girl is looking like an updo. I would just wear a solid color sleeve with this shirt. I would just wear like black or maybe even like a maroon color. But look at how these curls are falling on my face. Do you see that V? <laughs> I really, really like this. This is a great classy updo. Can't go wrong. $24.99. Who's on the website? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to link some solid color sleeves down below as well, in case you are not interested in the pattern, because now I need to get me some solid color ones. Like, this is everything, okay? Let's go, Amazon. I need to stop and take some pictures. All right, y'all, so I'm back with wig number two. This one is from Amazon and is like more like a, some type of like loose wave curl, barrel curl. This one retails for $26. It comes with a black headband attached. And I like that this is like a velvety headband. I like that. It's the first wig I've seen with the velvet one. And it comes with two combs total, one in the front, one in the back. One thing I noticed about this wig right away, it is very silky. And y'all know that I'm not a huge fan of the silk silk. So let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, so we are here with this $26 wig. And off the break, your girl is not feeling it. <laughs> this band is fitting very comfortably on my medium sized head, so that's a good thing. But the hair that is attached to this is giving me grief. <laughs> Already, This is not a super long wig, y'all. This is definitely like a good 16 inches, but it is tangling up like crazy. And mind you, this is what synthetic wigs do. They, they normally do tangle, but the better, higher quality ones don't tangle out the pack like this. Like this, out the pack, nah. I've been wearing synthetic wigs for five years now, y'all, so I've seen a wide gamut of fibers and textures. And this right here is what my mama warned me about. This right here. This looked pretty cute on the website, but I was a little nervous. I'll admit I was nervous. And now I see I had every reason to be. These fibers are definitely um, low quality. The more that I play with this one, I think the more irritated I will become. So honestly, this can go in the trash. That's how I'm feeling right now about this one. The thing is, I, I was actually rocking with this velvet headband, you know? But not with this wig. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. And the thing is, I had plans for this one because I haven't tried like a body wave headband wig from Amazon before. Not a synthetic one, you know? And I was about to pop on some cute headbands. Like, this one is from Amazon. I really like these flower headbands. This could have been a look, but these fibers aren't acting right. Also, if you look here, the tracks are showing fairly easily in the back. Yeah, this is a no. And I don't wanna waste y'all time, so let's just move on to the next one. One good thing about this company, at the very least, is the fact that they provided headbands, which is new to me. When Amazon headband wigs first started popping off, like a few months ago, first of all, there were very limited styles, really like maybe some eyelashes in the pack, but now they're including headbands in the pack. I think they're doing that to justify the fact that these headband wigs have become a little bit more pricey. Not pricey, but they just added on a few more dollars. So, but I'm not paying some dollars for this shit. Excuse my French, but no. All right, let's look at this here, wig number three. Definitely a type three curl type of unit. Probably falls like a good 16 and 18 inches. It comes with another black headband attached. Y'all see, I'm listening to y'all, right? I'm trying to bring y'all ones with black headbands already attached. 
It has this Velcro strap. The Velcro seems kind of cheap though. Just keep that in mind. Don't rip this too hard. I feel like this joint is about to pop off just now. And it has two little combs in the front and one little comb in the back. One thing I will say off the bat with this one, this headband definitely is big head friendly. I feel like there's a lot of room to play with back here. Okay. Hmm. I think this might, this might turn into something. One thing I noticed here is like, what the hell? Like the way they did these tracks, why do they do it like that? Oh, these are like, oh. <laughs> I, maybe they're trying to cover the tracks with these curls. Oh no, Amazon, you don't have to do that. Okay, so that's a dub, but I guess you could just play with it. I don't know. Ew, I don't like that. <laughs> but the style of this one is very cute. And I believe this one is like $25 on Amazon. The curls are very, very cute, but these little curly cues in the front are like really messing up my vibe. So I need to cut them out. I can't, I can't do this. Who puts baby bangs on the back of a headband wig? Like, come on. Please delete yourself. All right, so I just cut out some of those weird baby bangs. And so far, I like the curl pattern of this unit. I think it looks very cute. You can tell these curls are synthetic because they are frizzing up kind of easily, but they, the feel of this unit is nice. Like this feels, this feels pretty soft. So that is definitely a win. And for my girls who deal with hair loss along the hairline, you don't have to have your edges out. You can literally pull this headband up so that way your edges are not showing. I have a widow's peak, so of course that's gonna peek through for me. And then you can also, you don't have to rock this black headband. You can use a scarf like this, which I purchased off of Amazon, and you can tie this around your head, which is what I'm going to do in a second. <laughs> back with this unit. I wrapped it up with the scarf from Amazon. Definitely link down below if you're interested. And I wrapped it in a way so that my edges weren't showing. I'm really hoping that seeing this gives my girls with the thinning edges some solace because I want you to be a part two. I want you to know that even though these headband wigs are like all the craze right now, you can still take part and participate in the ease and the convenience of this trend. So, I mean, I think this looks really cute. I actually really love this scarf and I'm kind of wondering why I don't wear it more often because it's the pattern is so cute. Again, headband wigs are for everybody. Edges or not, it doesn't discriminate. We can all get ready in five minutes with a wig like this. I'm really feeling the curl pattern of this most of all and I love the way she feels the texture feels very nice considering the price point so I'm not mad at this at all and again if you're interested in any of these wigs definitely check them out down below I know some of these have been wigs have become really popular so if you see something you like add it to the cart now don't sleep because some people in the comments are saying like oh man it was sold out and I'm like that's how these wigs have been, you know what I'm saying? But I think this one is, is really cute. The little baby bangs, whatever, in the back. Wasn't feeling that, but as you can see, cutting them out was a very easy solution. All right, y'all, we have wig number four coming up next. And this is a, more like a number four color headband wig. It reminds me of like a loose wave curl pattern. It looks like it's falling like a good, maybe 16, 18 inches. Comes with a black headband, two combs here in the front, a comb in the back, right? comb in the back and the Velcro. By the way, none of these headbands come with an adjustable strap, just the Velcro and the combs. And this headband is made of that soft cotton, cotton material. Okay, I feel like, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned here. Let me, let me just gather the lesson in my head, okay? The lesson is, if you see a straight or a loose wave headband wig on Amazon, don't buy it. Don't do it, don't get it, don't waste your time. Because 
These straight loose wave ones is bringing me back to synthetic wig circa 2012. Like what the f what is this? Mm -mm. And I believe this one was $25. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many bomb $20 wigs I have featured on $20 Tuesday that feel absolutely nothing like this? so that way you all don't waste your time. And the thing is, I like the four color. That's why I got it, I wanted like a chocolate color. But honey, check out my $20 Tuesday playlist because you can definitely find wigs on that playlist that feel and look a lot better than this one on my head right here. I think I'm done trying to find like a straight or loose wave synthetic headband wig on Amazon because right now they just feel very synthetic-y. They are shiny. The fibers are from like 2005. I'm not doing this again. And the thing is like, I wanna wear my cute headbands. Like look at this cute little rhinestone headband. Let me push that part back. This rhinestone headband. I feel like this would be cute with like a loose wave. What do y'all think? These are some of my favorites. Or even this leopard one. It's pretty cute. It just sucks that the hair is trash. But you know what? This is why I'm here, y'all. To spill the tea so y'all don't have to take a sip if it's too hot. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, but I will say it again. Don't waste your time. If you want a loose wave headband wig, please just get human hair. Just get human hair because this right here is not working. It's not working at all. And I know some of y'all feel type of way about human hair headband wigs, but I love both human hair and synthetic for different reasons. Human hair ones last longer, obviously much better quality. The synthetic ones, there are some of them that I really, really like. Mainly the kinky curly persuasion, you feel me? But these straight ones are boo-boo. <laughs> I guess you could throw this on for like a quick run to the store. Like if I had to pick up some allergy medicine at CVS, I don't know. I need to get me a human hair one like this. That's what I need to do. All right, let's go on to wig number five and let's pray this is not a waste of our time. Oh, you know what's so funny? I guess these like loose wave textured ones, these companies love throwing on these headbands, which are cute. I like these colors. This is giving me vacation vibes, but it's too bad that I don't like the wig. All right, y'all, we are here with our last wig for this video, wig number five, and she is a big, full, kinky, straight mane. Oh my God, giving me lioness vibes with this animal print. <laughs> as far as the cap construction, you have two combs here in the front, and then just, it looks like just one comb in the back with the strap here. So, let's put her on, I'm excited. Oh, wow. <laughs> This hair is a lot. This is definitely Diana Ross hair. Diana Ross's fro looked just like this in the 70s, just like this. And I'm all, I'm all here for the fro, but I just kind of want it to be a little less dense. Right now, this is giving me like photo shoot vibes, but I wouldn't wear this on the regular, you know what I mean? This is the type of wig I would have to really like cut her up to take out some of the density. But I'm also curious if I can apply heat to this wig. Let me go get my handy dandy Revlon blow dry brush. I'll be right back. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's see what we're working with. All right, y'all, so I'm back with my Revlon blow dryer brush. Some of you may be familiar with this tool as I love to use it on my synthetic wigs, human hair wigs, doesn't matter. I like to use it on my natural hair. I actually just used it yesterday in order to blow up my hair. So this is great and I love it because it doesn't change the texture of my synthetic wigs when I use it. So I wanna see, first of all, if this wig is heat safe and if maybe this can lessen the density of this wig. Y'all already know I love kinky hair. That's not the issue at all. I just want it to be less dense. So let's see. All right, so as y'all can tell, so far, it's looking like it's heat safe and it's stretching out the hair. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm going to do the rest and see what happens. Woo! 
Woo! All right, so I was working through this hair, and I must say, this is a lot of hair. I wish my hair was this full. Like, Jesus Christ. But what amazes me about this synthetic wig is how much it mimics like my natural hair. Actually, let me just compare for y'all real quick. Let me check out my natural hair real quick, because y'all know I got it underneath this little binding. This is my, my real natural hair here, and this is the wig. You see that comparison? last headband wig as you can see i did not use the headband i tucked it underneath i let my real hair out in the front and i just wanted to see what how it blended and it blends insanely well mind you y'all this is a 25 dollar wig this unit actually resembles zuri sis checks I think checks is a little bit longer than this, but it has the same sentiment. It's just big, fluffy, kinky, straight hair. I love kinky straight in all its different forms, whether it's like sweeker or flatter, or whether it's like big line hair like this. I absolutely love it. So I think this is definitely a look. <laughs> I actually switched out my earrings because I was feeling a little festive as soon as I got the hair like this. These earrings are by the Hoop Mob and they're black owned earring company i got put on to them about a month ago and i'm loving their stock i got some more of their earrings coming if you're interested in supporting them definitely check out their website i'll have it linked down below i believe these are sold out but they have similar ones on the website so definitely check them out but yeah y'all i actually really like this i think i look super cute i feel like i'm about to get my donna summer on especially with this off the shoulder top i love it this wig definitely requires a good amount of work in order to get it to the where you want it to be so just keep that in mind but i i'm i'm loving the end result she needs a little trim though there are definitely some pieces that are like longer than others but i'm just amazed at how much this is like my natural blown out hair if my hair was this long this is how my hair would look probably a little less dense because my natural hair is not this thick this is giving me like 200 percent density and i'm more like a 130 150 maybe on a good day <laughs> <laughs> but yes y'all let me know how you feel about this batch of amazon headband wigs comment down below which one's your favorite how do you feel about my little you know switch up at the end with this last one let me know are you here for the headband wig trend sound off down below whether you're here or you're not we'd love to hear your thoughts and if you are new here tap that subscribe button y'all hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up we are definitely on our way to 20,000 subscribers and i'm super excited about that so please come join the family make sure you check out my headband wig playlist it'll be linked down below all these wigs are linked down below so if you're interested in any check them out and if you want to see some more of my headband wig videos check them out over here to the right of me thank y'all so much for 50 episodes of 20 on tuesday it's because of y'all that we are here thank you i love y'all premiere party what's up and i'll see you in the next video bye